what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. <laughs> Hey fellas, how's it going? Today's video is about how we can set up Kali Linux on a Windows system. Yes, you heard it right. We can install Kali or any other Linux distro on a Windows system. In this video, I'm about to show you how to install WSL2, WinCax and how you can set up graphical user interface for Kali. Windows got a feature known as WSL which is Windows subsystem for Linux, which allows you to run Linux distribution alongside your Windows desktop. So you don't require dual boot or virtualization. So let's start into setting up our Kali Linux on a Windows 10 machine. So first thing we need to do is enable WSL from control panel. To do that, open control panel, then go to programs and then click on turn on windows feature on or off now scroll down until you see windows subsystem for linux now check the box and then click ok and restart the system there are some prerequisites to qualify for the smooth running and installation of wsl2 so make sure you meet the requirements these are the requirements to verify it run winver in the search bar and this looks okay on my system so we'll proceed to next step okay now open powershell as uh, admin and run following command this will enable virtual machine platform I'll provide all these commands in the description below or you can find them on kali.org and docs.microsoft.com Now copy this command from description after that restart the system again Now we need to update the kernel package for WSL2 uh, You can get the link in the description So open the browser and download the update once the file is ready, click on it to install it. After that, once again open the PowerShell, run following command to make sure the WSL is set to default version 2. Now finally we can install Kali Linux or any other Linux distro from Microsoft Store. So basically we will install Kali as an application. Now navigate to start menu and launch Kali. As soon as you launch the installation process will start and you will be asked for username and password. So I'm going to set username to Kali and set password. Retype the password and there you are. Uh, we have Kali Linux command line interface. You can check OS version details by using this command. Now let's update and upgrade the distro by following command. Okay, now run the following command to install graphical user interface. This might take a while. Now let's install XRDP. And to start the XRDP service, run this command. Once we're done with that, we're gonna install WinMax. It provides Kali desktop experience for Windows subsystem. Uh, 
uh, now all you need to do is just type cax and enter your password for Kali wait for few seconds and bam we have Kali on Windows as you can see it is very simple you can install Kali Linux or any other Linux distribution on our Windows operating system I hope you like this video if you do like please leave a like share and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate when you do subscribe so that's enough for today's video I'm signing off now and I'll see you in the next one till the time take care ciao